Uh, growing up, uh, I took a lot of dangerous risks, you know, I did a lot of stupid things, but I never thought I'd ever do anything that would result in a serious injury. And when I was 19 and I trespassed on the railway tracks, I never, I never even thought that that would completely change my life. You know, people see me, they see the one arm, they see the one leg, and they see the missing fingers, but they have no idea of the consequences that I live with every single day of my life just for taking a shortcut. The emotional consequences are something that lives with you for the rest of your life. Um, you've got regret, denial, guilt, anger. You know, I feel angry for what I've put myself through, but you know, what about innocent people like the train driver, the guard, uh, the police, ambulance drivers, the doctors, the nurses, like the train driver. My accident happened in New South Wales. The train driver who was driving the train that ran over me, he was driving a 500 ton train. He saw me 15 metres ahead. He hit the emergency brakes. You know, I'm sure he didn't want the train to run over me, but what else could he do? You know, you've got the guard who had to jump down on the train tracks, go 200 metres down the tracks and see the mess that was left. You know, not a, vi a vision that I could get out of my head very quickly. Well, when I see people taking dangerous risks, such as what happens, happened at Mawson Lakes Interchange, it horrifies me. It, it gives me shivers all over because I think how close that person was to losing their life. When I was younger, I felt invincible. I had people come out to my school, talk about safety, injury prevention, but I never thought it would happen to me. I took a lot of dangerous risks growing up, and when you take dangerous risks, it's just a matter of time before something happens, not if something happens. You know, we take dangerous risks, we do silly things, but we don't understand it takes a split second, less than a second to change our life for, forever. You know, the tracks are for trains, obey all the signals. If you come up to a level cross, and the lights are flashing, the bells ding and the arms coming down, you know, wait the two minutes for the train to pass. Your life is worth so much more than just a few seconds of your, of, of your time waiting.